Hello YouTubers, I will be reviewing the Thursday and Friday night of this week's AFL games. Before I start, it will be appreciated if you can subscribe, comment and like. Every subscriber will be much appreciated. Let's get this started. The first game of the week played on the Thursday night was between Port Adelaide and Camden. That was played on Adelaide Oval. The final score was Port Adelaide, 10 goals 11 71 to Cowton, 16 goals 11 107. The Blues won by 36 points. In looking at the scoring, the first quarter it was very even. Both teams kicked three goals to a piece, with the game being tied at quarter time. In the second quarter, poor kicking by the power, they kicked one goal six to Cowton, two goals three with the Blues leading by 3 points at half time. And in the third quarter, both teams kicked 3 goals apiece with the Blues leading by 7 points at 3 quarter time. In the final quarter, Cowden dominated and smashed the power. The Blues doubled their score by kicking 8 goals to the power of 3 goals with the Blues easily winning by 56 points. The goal kickers for the power were 4 goals to Giorgiardis and all singles to Marshall, Finlayson, McEntee, Juan Francis, Soldo and Bergwin. For the Blues, there were 3 players that kicked 3 goals and they were McKay, Williams and Kerno, and 2 goals to Cripps and singles to Akers, McGovern, Sincotta, Kemp and the Conning. The best players for the power were Wines, Giorgiardis, Juan Francis and Butters. The best players for the Blues were Walsh, Newman, De Conning, Kerno, and Cripps. In terms of stats, the Blues were plus 7 in disposals, the Blues were plus 15 in inside 50s, their efficiency inside 50s, the Blues were minus 15, but they had so many inside 50s, so that counteracted their less efficiency inside 50. And the Blues led for 80% of the game. My 3 2 1 for the Brano votes are 3 votes to S. Walsh Counton, who had 3 foot disposals, 1 mark, 13 tackles, 8 clearances, 550 minutes can, and 1 goal assist. 2 votes to N. Newman Cowton, who had 29 disposals, 8 marks, 3 tackles, 4 clearances, and 380 meters gained. 1 vote to P. Cripps Cowton. Who had two goals, 22 disposals, two marks, five tackles, one hit out, three clearances, 467 minutes game, and one goal assist. The second game of the week on a Friday night was between Collingwood and the Western Bulldogs, played at Marble. The final score were Collingwood, 12 goals, 10, 82, to the Bulldogs, 15, 10, 100. The Bulldogs won by 18 points. Looking at the match timeline of the score, Collingwood jumped off to a good start. They kicked 5 goals to the Bulldogs, 3 to lead by 17 points at quarter time. In the second quarter, the Bulldogs kicked 5 goals to 3 to trail to the Magpies by 3 points at half time. And in the third quarter, Collingwood kicked 4 goals to the Bulldogs, 2 goals to lead by 12 points at 3 quarter time. In the final quarter, Collingwood were goalless and had only kicked one behind, whereas the Bulldogs kicked five goals to win by 18 points. The goal kickers for the Magpies were three goals to Schultz, two goals to N. Dacos and J. Dacos, and singles to Cripps, Hill, Lipinski, Markov, and Maynard. For the Doggies, Darcy kicked three goals, two goals to LeBont, McRae, McNeil and Ugo Hagel and singles to Lobb, Chulor, Vandermeer and West. The best players for Collingwood were Schultz, Jay and N. Dacos and Cripps. For the Doggies, the Bont, Chulor, Garcia and Darcy were their best players. The Doggies suffered a number of injuries, with both Harms and Vandermeer suffering hamstring injuries. Looking at the stats, the Bulldogs were plus 42 in disposals, they were plus 23 inside 50s, 
The Bulldogs efficiency in top 50, they were minus 7%. The Bulldogs were plus 10 in turnovers. And Collingwood led for 80% of the match. My 3 2 1 for the Brown and Whites are 3 votes to M. Bontepelli. Bulldogs, who had 2 goals, 38 disposals, 5 marks, 9 tackles, 10 clearances, 519 minutes gained, and 1 goal assist. 2 votes to A. Chulor. Bulldogs, who had 1 goal, 37 disposals, 3 tackles, 11 clearances, 687 minutes gained, and 1 goal assist. 1 vote to N. Dacos. Collingwood, who had 2 goals, 32 disposals, 3 marks, 2 tackles, 16 clearances, and 627 metres gain. Thank you for watching my review for the Thursday and Friday night AFL games for this round 12. Tomorrow I will release my review for the Saturday games. Hope to see you again. Cheers!